Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at error bars in Excel charts and uh, specifically how we can use them to determine and visually show standard deviation from an average set of data in our, uh, from our data set. Here we have an example of a few students and their test scores in four different subjects English, Math, math Bio, and Arts. And what we want to do is figure out the average and the standard deviation of those and graph both that average and standard deviation. So what is standard deviation? Well, the, this blog post is not uh, designed to give you an education on that, but I will give you some basics here. A, a standard deviation is a quantity calculated to indicate the extent of the deviation from a group as a whole. And what does it show? It shows how much variation there is from the average. And this is how it's calculated, but basically it's taking the uh, average of the variation from the overall average plus and minus for each of the items in the data set and using squares and square roots figuring out that variation from that average so you can do a lot more reading on that I'm sure and again when this uh, blog post is not designed to teach you about standard deviation but it is a very useful tool when you're trying to see the variations from the the basic average of a set of uh, data so Let's take a look and see how our students did uh, in averaging their scores. Uh, average is certainly pretty easy. Equals average, tab, whoops, equals average, tab that, select my scores, and copy that across. And you can see here's our average of those scores for those students in each of those uh, disciplines. For standard deviation, I'm just going to take equal standard deviation P, which is based on the entire population here. And I'm just going to highlight the range, make sure I don't grab the average here. And that's the standard deviation for English. And I copy that across, and you can see English, Math, Bio, and Arts. So here's our average, and here's our standard deviation. So you can see that Math had the lowest standard deviation. So even though the score was not the best in terms of average, they were more tightly packed together, only having a 5.9 standard deviation or spread from their average, where bio, having a better overall average than math did, still had a wider range of scores from a low of 66 to a high of 94, so it's showing that variation from that average. So let's, um, let's uh, plot these out. I'm just going to highlight the, the uh, headings there in our average and using Alt F1 just pop up a simple chart here from Excel and now if I want to add standard deviation error bars what I'll do is I'll click on it my contextual tab pops up and under design over at the left I have add chart elements select that down error bars you can see there's none and then standard error percentage and standard deviation. Now if I selected standard deviation you can see that the standard deviation bars, the error bars that pop up are all identical for all four subjects. So that's taking the standard deviation over the whole group and I don't want to do that. I want the standard deviation recognized for each individual subject. So I'm going to go to more error bar options and from there I'm going to go down to custom and specify the value. My positive value I'm going to select my group of standard deviations and my negative value I'm going to select that same range. So I'm going to use that standard deviation for both. I'll say OK and now you can see um, that my standard deviation shows for each of the topics. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and right click and format my axis because I don't need scores all the way down to zero. I know my I'm going to just put the minimum here as maybe 60. That'll show a little bit better. I'm going to close that. And so now you can see <coughs> you have the average for each one of those shown by the bars here. And my standard deviation with the error bars showing that math even though it was the lowest score, the standard deviation error bar is the shortest of them all, 
um, so the the scores were more tightly packed so even though I had a low average I can tell my students are all about very similar or close in their uh, knowledge of that subject where bio even though I had a better average than math you can see my standard deviation had the widest spread compared to the others uh, that had a spread of 10.9 compared to math of 5.9 and you can see the others there so you can use standard deviation to analyze stocks to analyze various other information I just used uh, scores of a test to kind of give you a general example how this can be used so there you have it standard deviation error bars on a chart in Excel I hope you find it useful. Give it a try. Try the other variables that you have there and, and see how it comes up. And thanks for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com. And I hope you subscribe. Happy Excelling.